Now, before today's presentation, we have to take a moment for some shameless self-promotion. On Friday and Saturday, 15 and 16 September 2023, the crew and I will have a couple of tables at the gun show at the Lions Club in the city of Lake Ozark, Missouri. Now, that's the city of Lake Ozark, not to be confused with the body of water, Lake of the Ozarks. Of course, the two are pretty close together. Now, it's only a two-day show, Friday and Saturday, but we'll have a couple of tables. We'll have guns on display. We'll have some t-shirts. We'll tell some anecdotes that aren't fit to be told in this format. Should be fun. Come out and say hello. Okay. Let's get to today's presentation. Hi, we're out on a range today, and what we're talking about is two questions that have come up quite a bit in this format. And sometimes, they're not questions as much as they are statements from people telling me that I'm doing it wrong. And one of the questions is, what's the difference between speed and velocity? And the other question is, when you're talking about the rate at which a bullet travels, what's the correct term to use, speed or velocity? Okay, we know that velocity is of course the most common term used, but is it really correct? All right. The first thing I have to say is that, one, in the entirety of my life, up until very recently in this format, this question has never come up. Take that for what it's worth. The other is, because it's never come up, it's never been something that I've had to do a lot of research on. Velocity is always the term I've used, the term I've learned. So just recently I've had to look at a lot of different sources. Uh, various online sources. There's a few what I would say really good videos in this format where people have explained the difference between speed and velocity better than I can explain it. But looking at all of those sources and taking what I can from them, the very simple explanation on which they all agree is speed is distance over time. 300 meters per second. 1,000 feet per second. 30 miles per hour, distance over time. Velocity is distance over time with a direction. 300 meters per second north. 1,000 feet per second on a magnetic azimuth of 250 degrees. 30 miles per hour toward the beach. Yes, that's actually an example that one of those sources used was toward the beach. Makes it velocity because that's a direction. Now, when I say that, the knee-jerk reaction that a lot of people are going to have is, wait, well, what do you mean, the direction? Why would that make a difference? How could that be one different from the... Uh, I am not qualified to explain that. I can only tell you that all the sources I look at, that's something on which they agree is speed is distance over time, velocity is distance over time with a direction. And they all give different versions of basically the same example. And the example looks like this. If I were to start here, and I were to start running, and I run around in a little circle, and come back to exactly where I started, my speed was probably five miles an hour. My velocity was zero, because I didn't go anywhere. Now again, people say, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. It might not make sense to you, but that doesn't mean that it's nonsensical. And again, I am not really qualified to explain why terms like distance over time with a direction are so important, but I know that they are. Now, if that's the difference between speed and velocity, how does that relate to the rate at which a bullet travels? Is it speed or velocity? Okay, taking what I can infer from those sources, Let's take a look at the chronograph. This is the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. Look at it this way and this way. Now, when I shoot a bullet, it goes through here. Turn it this way, it goes through here. And it passes over this sensor and then this one. And the chronograph senses when the bullet is right here and senses when it's over here as it goes through and then computes how long it took to get from A to B, translates that into feet per second, and you read it in the LCD right here. So when I'm shooting this chronograph, 
and the bullet goes through here, as you've seen me do many times, and I call out the numbers in the LCD. Bang, 1,200. Bang, 1,212. I'm telling you distance over time. I'm not telling you the direction because the direction is right there and you can clearly see it. I don't really have to explain that to you. You can see it yourself. But there most certainly is a direction. We are talking about A to B. And so in my understanding of all of this, the correct term here is velocity. This to me is measuring velocity. Now, what I have to add to that is that throughout the course of my entire life, there have been a couple of times where I have heard people use the term speed talking about the rate at which a bullet travels. When I was a little kid, an older kid who was about 11 told me that if you try to shoot out a tire from a close distance, the bullet won't penetrate. If you shoot at it from farther away, the bullet will penetrate because it has to pick up speed. No, that's not correct at all. But it was an 11 year old kid referring to the rate of travel of a bullet as speed. Another time I've heard the term speed used in terms of a bullet rate of travel is when you see that guy's arm from about here down and he's got a revolver in his hand and you hear someone say, faster than a speeding bullet, pow! In the opening credits of that George Reeves TV show, again, someone talking about speed as it relates to a bullet. And I'm gonna have to say that if that's your source for why you think that the correct term is speed, you need to check a few more sources. Throughout the entirety of my life, anytime I have ever looked at a reloading manual and it's got information like if you have this weight of bullet and you use this amount of this type of powder in this barrel length, you will get this velocity. Always the term they use is velocity. When I see boxes of ammunition that have numbers printed on them, they always use the term velocity. Any ballistics chart or anything like that I have ever seen uses the term velocity, not speed. When I was in basic training and we were learning the muzzle velocity of an M16A1 rifle, yes, I went to basic at the very end of the A1 era, and we learned that the velocity is 3,250 feet per second, again, it was expressed as velocity. Can you just imagine some recruit standing there and saying, actually, drill instructor, it's not velocity, it's speed. I bet that would go over really well. That guy would still be somewhere doing flutter kicks if he had said something like that. Anything I have ever seen uses the term velocity. Now, let me give you a hypothetical. Let's say you go into a gun store and you see two old geezers having a conversation. It looks like this. Well, that's an impressive looking round. What's the velocity? The velocity printed on the box is 3,000 feet per second. That's a lot of velocity. And then you walk up to those two guys and you tell them, actually, it's not velocity, it's speed. They might start looking at you like this. And they're kind of trying to look at the top of your head. And if you, why are you looking at the top of my head? They might tell you something like, because I'm looking for the horse's tail, because I figured you'd be under one. They might start giving you alliterative type terms that they're going to use to describe you, like possum's penis or something like that. Even if you're correct that it's speed, and based on the sources I've seen, I don't think you are, but even if you are correct, yeah, sometimes you might be better off keeping that to yourself. Even if speed is the correct term, which again, I don't think it is, given the precedent of at least a century of using the word velocity, pretty sure that's the term we're going to stick with. And based on my reading of those sources and how I look at my chronograph, I'm pretty sure velocity is the right term. Okay, if you don't agree with that, please make commentary, post links to sources. Just remember that when you write commentary, I'm going to read them in what I perceive to be your voice. And when people tell me that it's speed, yeah, that's the voice that I really perceive you have. So if you have conclusions different than mine, I'd love to hear about them. And thanks for watching.